They are some of the world's most precious and fragile ecosystems. So 25% of it will wash off into the water, which you will see when you put your hands in. And I'm being shown how sun cream is contributing to their destruction. Oh, I can see there is a, like an oil slick already. On a large scale, it can be toxic to corals and cause bleaching and potentially death in them. Half of the world's coral reefs have been lost in the last 30 years. The main cause is climate change and pollution, including from 14,000 tonnes of sun cream every year. How damaging are some of these sunscreens for what we see in here? So sometimes in the tests that we've undertaken, you put the sunscreen in the water and within a few hours you can actually see tissue sloughing completely off the coral skeletons. And 80% of brands uh, on the market which claim to be reef safe are actually not at all. They've never been tested. So Michael and his team at the University of Derby have developed a series of rigorous tests for sun creams and other cosmetics that could see them given an RPF or reef protection factor. Working with the ad agency McCann, they've encouraged beachgoers in Thailand to swap polluting products for safe ones. The aim is to create a new industry standard. How are you gonna persuade these really big brands to go through this process and have this badge? The decline of coral reefs um, is one of the most pressing environmental crises of our time. So as it's getting more and more out there, hopefully those bigger companies will see that it's a, a big part of being a brand being able to show that you want to care for the environment their first gold standard sun cream is one the university has helped develop it's called a mineral based sunscreen so it actually nourishes the coral michael's even confident enough to put it in his own reef you're going to get less oil coming off in fact you can barely see it at all and what is coming off is not poisonous exactly. to in anything fact, in here. It's having a positive influence, yeah. So basically we're feeding the corals as we speak. It is an ambitious project to persuade industry and all of us to protect our oceans as well as our skin. Ben Chapman, News at 10, Derby.